Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Techno Education Academy. In this video lecture, we will discuss the most IMP MCQ of boiler, which is generally asked in most of the uh, mechanical competitive exams. The first question, a closed vessel made of steel and used for generation of steam is called. So we know that it is a boiler. So boiler means it is a closed pressure vessel. According to IBR Indian Boiler Regulation, any closed pressure vessel okay, which contains all types of mounting and accessories and uh, it will produce 22.7 liter of steam and uh, this steam is utilized uh, for the process industry as well as uh, uh, in the electricity uh, generation, it is called boiler. Question number two, the selection of type and size of a steam boiler depends upon. So it will depend on so many parameters. The first parameter, the power required and working pressure. The second, the geographical position of the powerhouse. So depend on the uh, position, we can use horizontal boiler, vertical boiler. Uh, we can use uh, a capacity, high pressure, low pressure and medium pressure boiler. It will also depend uh, on the fuel and water available. Question number three, in a dash, the hot gases inside the tubes while as water is contained surrounded the tubes it is called fire tube boiler so as we know that in the fire tube boiler okay uh, the combustion will be take place inside the tubes or we can say the hot gases are inside the tubes okay and uh, surrounded the tubes there is a water it is called fire tube boiler so lankenshire boiler locomotive boiler and coach run boiler are the example of the fire tube boiler so in a coach run boiler here you can see that the combustion will be take place in the furnace and uh, this furnace it is connected with the fire tubes here you can see that uh, the red arrow okay it will uh, represent the uh, flow of the hot gases or flue gases inside the tubes okay and surrounded the tubes there is a water it is called fire tube boiler Question number four, in water tube boilers, the water passes through the tubes which are surrounded by flames and hot gases. It is called water tube boiler. So Babcock and Wilcox boiler, it is a water tube boiler. So here you can see that the combustion will be take place uh, in the bottom side of the uh, water tubes and uh, this flue gases, it will supply the heat energy to the uh, inclined tubes and the, in the tubes and in the tubes there is a water and it is heated and it will uh, generate the steam and this steam it is collected in the drum on top side and bottom side always water it will remain because the density of water is more and the density of steam is less so it is always remain top side and all mountain are connected or attached on top side so babcock and wilcox boiler it is the example of the water tube boiler Question number five, which of the following is a fire tube boiler, Babcock and Wilcox boiler, Lankenshire boiler or none of these. So we have already discussed, okay, Babcock and Wilcox boiler, it is the water tube boiler, while as Lankenshire boiler, it is a fire tube boiler. The correct answer is Lankenshire boiler. Question number six, fire tube boilers are limited to a maximum working pressure of, okay, the limited pressure for the fire tube boiler is 1.7 mega newton per meter square question number seven which of the following is a water tube boiler okay here uh, there is a four option is given lankenshire boiler locomotive boiler webcock and wilcox boiler and coach run boiler so out of four lankenshire locomotive and coach run boiler are the fire tube boiler so webcock and wilcox is a water tube boiler Question number eight, in water tube boilers, water passes through the tubes which are surrounded by flames and hot gases. And we have already discussed, uh, example is Babcock and Wilcox boiler. So here in inclined tubes, there is a water and surrounded there is a flue gases. Question number nine, when the circulation of water in a boiler is by convection currents which are set up during the heating of water then the boiler is known as natural circulation boiler 
so in natural circulation boiler the uh, circulation of water it is due to density difference okay as we know that in a fluid fluid means gases are also fluid and liquid are also fluid we have already discussed in my fundamental of heat transfer video lecture you can watch it so in case of a natural convection uh, the heat transfer is due to density difference while as in force convection okay uh, we are using pump so when the circulation of the water in a boiler is by centrifugal pump then the boiler is known as four circulation boiler so in four circulation boiler we are using pump to circulate the water so i hope this information uh, it will be helpful to you uh, for the preparation of the uh, mechanical competitive exam if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel uh, give your valuable comment and also share with your friends